In this tutorial, we're going to look at the sticky notes template at SharePoint-Dashboards.com. This is a simple, fun template to use to duplicate the look of sticky notes on a SharePoint view. You need three fields, the default title field, which is on every SharePoint list, an additional field called note, which should be a multi-line plain text field, and then a third field which should be named BG color, capital B, capital G, capital C. That should be a choice field and the options that you should use for your choices are six color names which are listed in the notes column. So be sure to first set up your fields um, as described in the notes section. Once you've got that all set up, you can choose your different options by first taking a look at some different themes. Uh, this shows you different sizes and you can also choose as far as whether you want a curved corner on it and then also adjust the width and the height. Then you've also got options for margin and how many notes will show up per row. Part of this functionality allows you to easily change the background color of the sticky notes as well as easily delete them by clicking on the X icon in the upper right. So you can preview the functionality by doing that. Once you've got that all set, uh, you can go ahead and copy the template. I'm going to reset it back to the default options. Click in copy template and this is a view template. You just follow the directions in the box and click OK and we're ready to go to SharePoint. Here's my list with the three fields, the default title field for, that just comes with every SharePoint list, a note field which I created which is multi-line text. Make sure you don't use the rich text formatting option, that won't work. And then a third field which is a choice field called BG color. And there's no spaces in that. It's capital B, capital G, capital C, and that is uh, color, last word. So now that I've got those options, I can go to format current view, advanced mode, and I will replace the text in the box and click save. There are my sticky notes. You can sort these how you want. I would recommend you sort them ascending uh, alphabetically by the title field. You can update by clicking on it. That'll open up the form. I'll save that, as well as update the text on the title and the form. The background color can be changed, as I mentioned, by just clicking on the color tabs at the bottom of the form. And then if you want to get rid of one, you can just click on the delete. I'm not going to delete my option in this case. And that's all there is to it. Note that you can change the size of these in the template. So you can either have small sticky notes or large ones and you can control the font size accordingly. If you do have too much text, it's simply going to show a horizontal scroll bar. That doesn't look great. I recommend avoiding putting that much notes in there, but it can contain that content if you want. And that's all there is to it to use the sticky notes template at SharePointDashboards.com.